welcome to Kids Academy. Hey, Bolly. What, uh, what are you doing? Just helping a snack. Hi, everyone. Yeah, I can see that. Anyway, today what we're going to be talking about is how people use light and sound to communicate with one another. First, we're going to start with light. Wally, you remember how light works? Of course! Light is a type of energy. It's made up of waves that travel from a light source like the sun, the stars, a lamp, or a fire. Those waves bounce off objects and enter our eyes. This makes us see things. We all like light, and we feel uncomfortable in the dark. When there's no light, We don't know where to go or how to find some glory. Oh. Accidents happen in the dark. Light not only illuminates our world, but since ancient times, people have been using it to send messages to one another. They still use it today. A traffic light has three bright lights on it. The red one tells us to stop. The yellow one tells us to use caution and slow down. And the green light tells us to go. These three lights help cars and people not run into each other on the street. On seashores, people build lighthouses, tall towers with a light on top. That light is used at night or when it's foggy to keep ships from crashing into the shore. We all have light signals in our homes. Some light signals might tell us if an appliance is turned on. Others can tell us if we have a message waiting to be listened to. Some light indicators can tell us what station we're tuned into. However, light is not the only means guiding us around in this world. Sound is used to help us as well. If you remember from earlier lessons, sound is a type of energy that is made when objects vibrate. When these vibrations reach our ears, we hear them as noise. A doorbell sound lets us know the guests have arrived. Someone's in the door. Hey, Bolly. Hello. People learned how to use sound to communicate important information. A cell phone rings to let you know that somebody's calling. A school bell calls students to a lesson. A coach's whistle in the gym tells them to start exercising. All emergency service cars have sound alarms. Police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances. When these cars race to the rescue, the alarm sound tells other cars to get out of the way. The world around us is full of sounds and light. Listen and look carefully, and you might learn something interesting. That's it for this time. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time! Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.